up y'all my name is queen ezzy and these are my sims welcome back to another episode of the sims for high school years let's play in the last episode i mentioned to you about all of the issues that i have been having when trying to record this playthrough um luckily since then everything has been worked out however this video and the video that follows this one are all going to be voiceovers because i was having the same issue that i had with the previous video that my microphone was not on or was not working or somehow switched itself to default mode i don't know y'all i have i'm over i am over this whole <laughs> everything about this i'm over it i cannot tell you how long i spent working on this game especially because i got the the save error message and like mine was not because of custom content i'm praying that that doesn't happen mine was because my um first impression mod or the mood pack one of them was out of date and i didn't know it and so I just so happened to go back on and I was like and as I was doing my research online I was like let me check because maybe you know they've updated it and they had and it was like I was like well damn I, they just updated it so anyway once I put it in then it worked smooth as butter and I just kept having my fingers crossed every time that I say that it will come back to the right point because I was like I'm traumatized by this error message but mc command didn't give me an exception when i tried to say so i was like okay i think that i have mastered this so anyway what you see here is um sawyer and she's kind of gotten a new crew and i'm just gonna say that it is because um this is about i don't even know i've lost count at this point how many times i replayed the same day it literally was like Groundhog Day, seriously. Um, and every time there were a different group of students and a different group of, you know, so I just was like, well, we'll just do the continuation and just let it be like, you know, we got Savannah, hey girl. We'll just let it be like these students showed up later. We also have Kaori, who is um, Kiyoshi's girlfriend this go round. So, and then we had, of course, our random, we have Kiyoshi, of course, and um, I was debating on whether or not I would give Kiyoshi a makeover. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. He's not somebody that's going to really come into play a whole lot with this Let's Play, so, um, because he, I don't think he's our friend, him or his uh, girlfriend. I don't think they ended up being our friends um, in this one, so... Uh, or they may have i don't know y'all i didn't play this so many times i don't know who's who is her, fr her friends anymore outside of morgan because i made sure that morgan was still her friend and luna was still her friend but other than that i don't know who all she's friends with <laughs> i have to go back in the game and look at this point but yeah we're gonna call sydney um we opened up his profile just to check to see if we were friends i think i was trying to figure out if we actually ended up being friends with him and we didn't so um and then i'm showing in the panel all the people that she knows and i'm like she needs to be you need to have friends with become friends with all of them so i was pointing it out i was like i need to develop her, her friendship with a few more people so let's start with sydney so I invite him to come to the lot and um, she, <laughs> um, as I'm doing that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Ka Kaori walks away, everybody goes their separate ways and now I'm just um, doing, uh, taking a photo. I'm getting started and taking my photos with Luna. So yeah, of course, I had already taken the photo with her, but since I had to begin again. Oh, and I was like, oh, here's Molly. And what is she wearing? Because that is awful. So I changed her outfit. But this time, because I changed the initial outfit, nobody freaks out. So this is not the outfit that she was wearing when everybody was freaking out because I changed it. But she still looks super cute, right? 
Look at her. If I can get past the clothing rack. So you can see, there she is. Isn't she just so adorable? I was so deflated because the outfit that I originally had her in was so cute. Like, it was kind of similar, but it, oh my gosh, it was so cute. But anyway, she still looks cute. And uh, now we are going to take a picture with, what are we doing? We're taking a picture with, oh, we're, I'm trying to set it up so we can take a picture with Sydney. Because I think we're already friends with Luna, so we don't need to take a picture of her. That girl that just popped in right there is Gemma from the Spellcaster pack, and then she disappeared. And then Sydney disappeared, and I was like, what the hell? Where did he go? Like, I need him on this picture. <laughs> I was like, let's try that again. I think he left, though, and that's why we, um, we... <laughs> We couldn't find him. He wasn't on our picture because he left. Then I was like, well, let's try Savannah. And then I couldn't click on her. I'm like, what? I can't click on Savannah? Okay. I was like, well, can I click on him? Okay, I can. So I was like, okay, we'll take a picture with our friend. Um, I still cannot pronounce his name. I'm going to end up changing his name because I don't think that that would be what his name is. So I'm going to change it. I hate that the, the game randomly generates names that may not fit with the sims like if you gonna have a sim that's of a certain ethnicity or nationality then like make sure that you know when you, they generate they have appropriate names so yeah when i make him over i'll change his name <gasps> oh and then it's malcolm i was like you guys this is malcolm malcolm in my game is a hottie okay look at him he's just so cute i was like girl okay let's hurry up and take this picture with uh mr Mr. Y, I'm gonna call him Mr. Y because I, I can't pronounce his name. But I'm like, let's hurry up and take a picture with him because you have got to meet Malcolm because you gotta become friends. It's Malcolm Landgrab. Like, you can't not become friends with Malcolm Landgrab. And, you know, you wanna be an admired icon. Malcolm Landgrab has to be in your circle. So she goes over and we were like, oh, she introduced herself. And I said, oh, he's coming over to sit down with us and talk to us. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, Malcolm, you, you like us? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so then we're just having small talk or they're just having small talk. And people are like crowding around us. And I'm like, okay, I guess everybody wants to talk to Malcolm. So, but we're continuing our conversation. And... I'm like, let me tell you this joke. He's cracking up at us. Like, he's like, you are hilarious. She's like, thanks. So just doing small talk, trying to get to know him, trying to build up the, the relationship a little bit. And then we get a prom invite um, from, uh, who is this? I think there's Noah. Noah wanted us to go to prom with him as friends. And we're like, Noah, no. We, we're we trying to go to prom like on a romantic type level. And you're we're not your type. So, no. And you guys, this is just one of uh, many prom invites throughout this damn video. She got so many prom invites from friends. And we're like, no, we're not trying to go as friends. We want an actual date. So um, then I'm checking out the sentiments because there was a sentiment that was gained between them. She's creeped out and he's dejected from rejection. <laughs> I'm like, Noah, it's okay. We, you know, I'm sorry, buddy. I think I have her apologize to him. Yeah, I do. I, I, I'm apologizing to him. I'm like, oh, and then Morgan asks us to go to promise friends so that's number two I'm like no i'm like sorry morgan we're trying to go to prom as like you know a couple like i'm trying to get our actual date not uh, um not like go as friends like I'm trying to get an actual date to prom so of course that made her sad too and she's like look we're sorry i'm sorry but <laughs> just trying to go to prom like as a as a date with someone want to experience it like having going to prom with a as a date not like as a couple i mean not as friends so we're gonna go ahead and take the picture with malcolm because we were having so many interruptions so we're gonna go ahead on and take a, a photo with malcolm and uh, so that ensures that he's friends with us right so and then, yeah, then the sentiments. Well, right now, it doesn't seem like we, our sentiments have changed. But you just wait. <laughs> wait on that. 
That is a very cute picture, even though I know it's not any different from what we used to have. I think that was the same as the other poses. That is so cute, but I just hate that you can't move it. Like, you have to stay in that position with the camera. The old poses, you can still move around, you know, and like place it how you want. But with those, you can't move it. Like, if I wanted to get more of her face in, I can't move it. It's stuck right there. I'm like, Sam's, why did you do that, Sam's thing? Why? Why? He's like, you, you're just, every time. Oh, now we're going in. This is the foreign exchange student that lives with Sydney and his family. Kevin, I think his name is. And I was like, what are you wearing, dude? So I switched him to the outfit that I gave him. He's quite handsome. Zooming in on his face. Yeah, see? He's quite handsome. Like, very cute. And he still has facial hair. I just toned it down. Because he had on a full-on beard. And I'm not saying that, you know, that's not going to happen when you're in high school. But I just toned down his facial hair a little bit. So he has um, hair, facial hair, but I toned it down. Here we have Yuki Bear. Which I was like, oh, look at Yuki. She's so cute. Again, this is my version of her from my save file. I just plopped her into this world. And I was like, ooh, we got to get to know her. Because I kind of imagine that she would be like a fashion kind of person too. She kind of strikes me as a little bit. So I was like, let's get to know her as well. And um, whether or not she's going to be like her bestie, like Morgan and Luna, I'm not sure about. But she'll be a close second. This is the second time that Morgan is asking. She either asked us. That time, no, she, I think she asked Wolfgang that time. And I was like, sure, I'm not sure why you're asking us about Wolfgang. But yeah, you can go with the Wolfgang. We don't care. And then Wolfgang walks in. <laughs> and he didn't look too happy about that. Uh, also, we met Jeb as well. Now she's asking us again. So for us, this is number three, twice from one person. And we're just trying to talk to... Yuki and like Morgan is like oh you won't go to prom with me and we're like girl we told you we want a, a date not to go to prom as friends we want an actual date and Yuki is feeling flirty for some reason I'm not sure why I don't know who flirted with her <laughs> all right but I'm about to take a picture with Yuki so we can add her as a friend so that will take our count down and she's feeling flirty as hell. Like, look at her. She must be flirting with whoever she's sitting at the table with. I know Kevin was one of the per people. I don't know who the other person was. Oh, Kiyoshi. Ooh, she better not be flirting with Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi got a girl, girl. <laughs> got a girlfriend. I was like, chill out. You just met her today. Like, that's not going to be a pose. Chill out with that pose. You just met her today. <laughs> but I think that's because Yuki was feeling flirty. Because Sawyer was not. So I'm like, chill out. You just met her today. You're not going to kiss her on the cheek. Like, <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yuki is actually really cute. She's really pretty. Oh, and then stop the press because this young man right here is Marcel Price. He's the twins' dad. So Savannah and, and Sydney. And so I was like, let me put him in his clothes. Because they just show up in whatever the hell they want to show up in. And I'm like, that's not what I put you in. So we're zooming in on him. And he is quite handsome. Like, that whole family, I had so much fun, like, putting skin details and, like, just redressing them. Because they are such beautiful sims. Like, even without the makeovers and stuff. Um, so I was just like, man, add a little skin detail. Psh, we good. And we have Sawyer browsing through clothes as usual. And my camera work is shoddy as always. Yuki decided she's going to leave. And I'm doing a bird's eye view because I was trying to see. Oh, I think I was trying to see who that was in the corner. And then Ash and then Ash asked us to prom as friends. And we have to say no to Ash as well. We're like, Ash, look, sorry, but we are trying to get a prom date not as friends but a date then jeb comes back in and we're like let's introduce ourselves to jeb 
and make him one of our friends. Luna walks on by. I think at this point, I was over like having them converse first, and I was like, let's just get straight to the pictures because this is this is too much. <laughs> I was like, let's just get straight to the pic. I don't have time to be making small talk with people. We just gonna keep it moving. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Jeb is cute too. Like all of my little teen sims are so cute in my opinion anyway. You know, isn't that how we all do things in this game? We we remake them and then we're like, oh, they're so cute. I just love them. So yeah, he's cute too. Then, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking like then I know what happens next. Okay, saved. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure because, again, this is the umpteenth time I've replayed the same day over and over again. And here's where we see that Morgan has that um, that sentiment with us about dejected, about being rejected, and Ash does as well. And then we have the creep, creepy sentiment towards them. So I really like the first impressions mod though. It's really cool. So if you you know ever want to try it out for yourself, just make sure you have the most recent up-to-date version. That and the um other mod that goes with it. This guy here is a teenager from um Cottage Living. I mean not Cottage Living, University. I forgot about him. I was like oh because I redid him too. I just forgot about placing him in my game so I might go back in and replace him um, in my game with the um, up to date or my version of him because when I was going through the world I was like hmm I, I thought about Brightchester but I was like there are no teens in Brightchester I forgot about him so I think I'll replace him in the next one so he'll be up to date as well there's just so many like it's just so many of them. It's crazy how many of them it, there are. Oh, there's Sydney. I think we called him. Yeah. So I think we're going to finally take a picture with him because he's going to be our last friend that we need after all of this. <laughs> I was like, finally, we get the last friend and we can complete this milestone so we can move on. And there's Cassandra. Cassandra had to change her outfit as well because the pants that she had on before gave the same action, reaction, I should say, as Molly, where they were freaking out. Like, and that that happened. I watched that that bug happen. I forget which update it was, but it was like an update from a while ago where those pants uh, were broken afterwards. And I was so upset because it was like my absolute favorite pants to put on my Sims. But it's all good. <clears throat> Ash is asking us to prom again. We're like, dude. I mean, not dude, but you know, we're like, you know, we already told you. We don't want to go with as friends with anybody. We're trying to get an actual prom date. You know, an actual prom date. So Sydney is our last person that we end up becoming friends with, and then once we're finished with these photos, then that go ahead on and, and, and moves us up in the next milestone for our um, thingamabob and then we have to I think we have to list five outfits on trendy and we have to earn gold on a party that we throw so I was like okay cool so I have to have her list more outfits on trendy we're gonna try to like go for ones that are in style if we can it's just hard trendy is hard to manage oh she has to go to work so i was like okay let's i'll have her go to work and then i'm showing you all my um updated version of cassandra now this is not the new cassandra you know ea's version remake version of the goths this is og cassandra but i had you know redone them way before ea started talking about they was gonna refresh them or whatever they decided they were gonna do and um I think there was another prom invite, but I'm not sure. Because, again, I'm doing this voiceover for my editing software, so I'm not, I couldn't see it. But, um, yeah, I was just showing you all what uh, Cassandra looked like. My version of Cassandra. OG Cassandra uh, from The Sims 4 looks like. And this is actually a really cute little spot. Like, I think I... Do I become friends with Cassandra? I think I do. 
but I also have Cassandra as becoming friends with Parker too and I feel like Parker um would be a better like match at friendship wise for her um because Cassandra doesn't seem like the person that would be into the same type of vibe as Sawyer and I think Sawyer recognizes that and so she when she asks um she's gonna invite Cassandra to the party but she's gonna say hey you might want to you know hang out with my sister you guys are kind of along the same vibes or whatever I was like Luna almost photobombed us <laughs> <laughs> oh chill out chill out you just met her today it's like chill chill it's just a friendly pose Cassandra is so cute I love her absolutely love her I may eventually remake the um or you know refresh the refresh I love that pose it's adorable I may refresh the refresh and make them over um again like the new version of the goths cause like I said this is OG goths so um Oh my gosh, Luna's chin has totally photobombed us. Girl, get your chin out of our pic out of our picture. I'm saving again just to be sure. Y'all literally I was traumatized. I promise I was traumatized by that. By making all that progress and then get, trying to save and then it not working and I have to replay or going into creative sim coming out and I have to replay the day over and over. Oh my gosh, it was so terrible. I think I'm gonna send her home here, yeah. It's late. I'm like, it's time for her to go home. So, I send her home. Yep. And at back at the house, because we had like, man, a couple of episodes where we have been just out of the house the whole time. Not thinking about anybody else. Just solely focused on Sawyer, which I did say we were going to do that. My initial goal was to have alternate between them, like... You know back and forth and back and forth but the last two episodes have been parker i mean not parker sawyer heavy so the next episode i will focus on parker and it'll kind of blend at the end they'll kind of be blended together but um yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it for um for this episode i think what i was doing here was trying to go back and make sure everybody had their needs and stuff was you know up to date park a sawyer's knee was like the worst because we were of course out with her the, the longest but everybody else in the household i think was okay for the most part um and whoever wasn't you know i just i just was like you know if you gotta go to the bathroom go to the bathroom if you have to do whatever do whatever but i think that like the reason why well i think I thought that they were taking care of themselves. I mean, I put them on the action to take care of themselves. But it was like when I got back home, I'm like, why is everybody's mood, like, needs, like, out of order? <laughs> What's the point of having the care for yourself interaction if they don't actually care for themselves? So, just trying to make sure everybody gets their needs taken care of. Her dad is forever in this robe and do-rag. He literally gets up. He does not like change out of. He's never in any clothes. Like I, I really had to like make him get in in clothes because he's never in clothes. Then I think I was making the girls like do their homework or something because I know for sure Parker hadn't done her homework and uh, Sawyer hadn't done her homework either. So yeah. And then right here is where I had. Her dad helped her with her homework in the end. Because they love to talk to him. But I'm like, why don't you just make yourself useful to him and do something that's going to benefit him, you know? I'm not sure why I'm at this wall. I think I'm trying to do something else. I don't know. But yeah. So, this is, um, I think, where I ended with them, um, with him helping her with her homework and everything and it looks good they actually do their homework a lot faster if you have their parents help them which is cool you know but yeah so on that note i'm gonna end the video right here hope you enjoyed the content that you saw today if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and we 
we'll see you next time all right <laughs> and i'm gonna be out bye